Hello, I'm Dr. Brad Holmberg, co-founder of InvisalignDoctors.com. This tutorial is an abbreviated version of Understanding Orthodontic Tooth Movements, the Key to Invisalign Outcome Predictability. The full version of this tutorial can be viewed on our learning website, InvisalignDoctors.com. Have you ever had an Invisalign case where the outcome looked great in ClinCheck? Here's the ClinCheck of a teen case I treated a while back. The case required a lot of expansion and some class 2 correction. The treatment plan looked great, so I approved it. I estimated the case would require around 18 to 24 months to finish because there were 41 aligners in the initial treatment plan. The case actually took four years and one month to finish. In the next series of slides, I will explain and show you why this case took so long and what went wrong. This is the same case shown in a previous slide. The left graphic shows the aligned proposed outcome as seen in ClinCheck. So that's the last stage of the, of the initial treatment plan. The right is the actual outcome after the initial set of liners were used. It's stage zero of the first refinement ClinCheck. So what's going on here? Is there a poster open bite? If you look closely, you'll see occlusal contacts with the lingual cusps of teeth two and three. So this is not a poster open bite. There are hanging lingual cusps and proclination of the molars. Unfortunately, this is a very difficult uh, situation to resolve. A lot of buccal root torque of teeth two and three is needed to resolve this. I'll talk a little more about torque later in this presentation. So why did this occur? Look at this slide again. So what are the blue and black dots that you see? Understanding what these are and learning how to avoid them in your ClinCheck setups is key to preventing what occurred in my case. The TMA, or Tooth Movement Assessment Tool, is located in the ClinCheck Pro interface. It's the circled icon that you see in the slide. It must be highlighted or turned on for these dots to appear. The dots notify you there are complex tooth movements programmed in the treatment plan. Blue dots are moderately difficult movements, and black dots are extremely difficult movements. The more dots you see, the lower the outcome predictability becomes. Here's a right side view of the ClinCheck for my case. I approved the plan with complex movements. I'm certain this is the reason for the disappointing result because complex movements are usually, never, usually not fully expressed clinically. Unfortunately, I was unaware that there were complex movements in the ClinCheck for my case. Back then, when I did this case, I didn't even check tooth movements before approving a ClinCheck. I certainly do now. Has this ever occurred with one of your cases? And what can we do to prevent this from occurring? An understanding of orthodontic tooth movements and the use of ClinCheck Pro in the 3D controls to adjust these movements is the key to amazing outcomes. I rarely see any issues with occlusion in my cases since I started to use 3D controls to adjust tooth movements. In the next series of slides, I will cover tooth movements with Invisalign. Here's a screenshot of the ClinCheck Pro interface. I've circled the 3D control bar. It must be turned on though. So there's a button, create modification on the top right corner that turns it on and that's the circled button. Let me say a few words about movement difficulty. Usually the difficult movements are ones that reposition or move the root apices, especially with posterior teeth. So here's the graphic showing the movements. And these are the movements that reposition the root APCs. These are the more difficult movements. Okay, so we have intrusion or extrusion, buccal or lingual translation, mesial distal translation, mesiodistal angulation change, and buccal lingual rhetoric. And there is a widget called complex movement widget, which I never use. It's just too complex and difficult to use. So these five movements are the ones that reposition the root APCs, and these are considered more difficult. 
So, how can you apply this concept to your ClinCheck setups? It's easy. You use the 3D controls and click down posterior tooth movements. You can see a demonstration on how I do this by viewing the full version of this tutorial on InvisalignDoctors.com. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. Consider joining our community of Invisalign Doctors on InvisalignDoctors.com. This tutorial and many more can be viewed in their entirety. Personalized case assistance is also available on our site.